What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited for this video. I am starting a brand new series called the Tee Box Series, where every video is going to be played from a different tee box. So today I'm gonna to be playing the red. Another video, I'll be playing the white and then the blues, the golds, and then the tips. For today's video, we're playing from the reds. I'm trying to see how low I can go across seven videos here at Mission Impossible. Starting on hole number one, the par five, let's get right into it. Hole number one is a par five, 432 yards. All the par fives today should be played as par fours, hopefully. Driver in hand, hole number one, here we go. I'm not too sure where that first one ended up. I think it's just over on the right side of the fairway by the cart path. Kind of sliced it a little too much. I was trying to hit a draw, but I left the club face open and it moved over to the right. Okay, not the most ideal shot from the first tee. I'm over here on the right side of the cart path. I have this tree in my backswing and I don't really have a shot. I have a four iron in my hand. I'm 200 yards from the pin. I'm just gonna try to punch it through this little gap, give myself a wedge. It's a back pin today. I'm trying to lay myself back end of the fairway and give myself a wedge in. Not really much I could do. I punched myself back out to the 100 yard marker, so I'll have 100 yards in. A lot better than I thought it was gonna be, honestly. 115 yards here to this back pin location. Not too much to worry about. I've got a 52 degree in my hand. Just gonna try to throw it back there. I think my ball ended up on the back of the fringe. I couldn't tell, honestly, from that angle. I hit a 52 degree, caught it pretty clean, and just flew it a little bit long. Not the ideal shot we wanted there. Um, I hit it pretty clean, just a little too much club, I think. I think I'm on the back. It's either the back of the green or a little bit on the fringe. Still got a putt for birdie, though. All right, walking up to the green. So it looks like I'm just barely off the fringe. I knew it was right at the pin, just a little bit long. This is what we're looking for going back up the hill for this birdie putt. Gonna try to sink it. All right, par on the first hole, not bad. I just under read that one a little too much. Par on one, moving on to hole number two. Let's get it. Moving on to hole number two, par four, 263 yards, a dog leg left. I don't hit my three wood very well, and I have this two iron that I hit around 240, 250 carry. So I'm gonna play that today, try to hit a draw, and put us close to the green. Just up the right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, I missed that one off the top of the club and it cut a little bit. I'm in the middle of the fairway over by the bunker, but I didn't hit that one exactly how I wanted to. Should still only be like 110, 115 yards out. All right, on to my second shot here. This is where I ended up in the fairway, 84 yards to the pin. A little bit of breeze into our face, but it's downhill, so it should counteract. I have a 60 degree. I'm gonna hit a full 60 into this pin, try to go right at the flag. The greens are sticky today, so they're not gonna spin too much. I'm gonna take a full swing wedge. All right, I hit that one pretty well. I think I'm like four feet, maybe five feet from the pen looking at a bird. All right, walking up to the green a little bit further than I thought I was gonna be. I'm looking at about six to eight feet here for birdie. I'm gonna hit this one on the right edge of the cup. Should break a little bit to the left. That one snapped a lot more than I thought too. I definitely didn't see it breaking that much left. I thought maybe it would break a little bit right. Par here. Puts me at even through two, moving on to number three. I was playing Oak Creek Golf Club yesterday and those greens were breaking less than I thought that they were. So now I'm out here at Mission and I'm expecting it not to break as much, but it is still breaking a lot. Hole three, this par three, playing 131 yards to a back pin location. I've got pitching wedge in my hand. The wind's a little bit at the back, so I won't hit a full pitching wedge, but I've got pitching wedge. I'm gonna hit a draw into this pin location. Looks to be about 10 high. I hit that one pretty solid. I thought it was gonna be a little bit short, but the wind carried it. Should be pretty close to the pin. Okay, walking up to the green, I'm actually a lot closer than it looked from back there. Looking at about another six footer here for birdie. Up the hill, breaking left to right. Have a great opportunity again for me on this third hole. Missed it on the low side, didn't hit it hard enough. I thought it was gonna be a little bit quicker. 
But par here on number three, gotta make a birdie. Those are the putts that are important to me. Gosh, that was another missed opportunity. Those are the putts that I have to make, especially being a college player and playing in tournaments in order to move up the leaderboard. You've got to make those six footers. Those are crucial. So moving on to the hardest hole, number four, the number one handicap. Alrighty, I've got two iron. I'm going to take it just to the left edge of that last bunker, peel it off with a draw. The wind's in the face pretty hard, so it's not going to go too far. Can't hit three wood again, and driver would be too much, so this is my fairway finder club. All right, I hit that one pretty well. I think I put myself right around the 150 marker. We'll check it out when we get up there. All right, my ball ended up pretty good here. I almost took it to the edge of the creek with my two iron. It was like 260 to get there. So I hit that one pretty well. I've got 133 yards up the hill. Pitching wedge in hand, almost the same exact shot as that par three, the last hole. Pens on the top ridge, so I have to be careful not to spin this too much and have it come all the way back off the front of the green, which is a tendency that I have sometimes with my wedges is to spin too much. Hit that one pretty thin, maybe a little bit chunky. I ended up being short of the ridge and not on the green. Just carried over the bunker and I'm probably still putting. I'm just on the ridge on the fringe. My tendency when I try to hit a little bit more firm down on the ball, I tend to thin it too much. So that's what I did there and I didn't catch it clean. That's why I didn't fly all the way up there. Shouldn't be too much trouble though. I think I'm just gonna putt that. Should be a two putt for par. All right, this is the putt that we're looking for here. Up the hill, I'm not entirely sure which way this is gonna break. Feel putt for me, so I'm just gonna try to use my hands and judge the speed. Put myself within that three foot circle that I like, try to make it for par. That was pretty bad judgment on my part in terms of speed. I had to hammer that. I felt like I hit it pretty hard and it still came up short. Still have about a 10 to 12 footer here for par. Not what we're looking for there on that par four. That was a pretty easy hole from where that second shot was. That just goes to tell you how good some of these pro guys are when they can stick shots 10 to 15 feet from 130 yards. I hit that one a little heavy again, but walking away with bogeys, not too bad on this number one handicap. Moving on to the next hole, par four. Hole number five, par four, 292 yards. It's uphill, probably playing about 310, 320. I was thinking about hitting driver, but I need to score better. And I know that I can put a shot in the fairway. I need to course manage and not get ahead of myself. So I've got two iron. I'm gonna try to stick one out by the bunker, draw it off of that left bunk, put myself within hundred yards and just have a wedge in. All right, well, that was kind of a bad club choice selection there on my part. Two iron was way too much, could have gone through the fairway. Would have been smarter hitting a seven iron off the tee. But it is what it is. I think we're in the bunker, hopefully. If not, I'm down a hill. That's gonna be a super, super difficult second shot. But I'll have about 130 in. All right, pulled up to this bunker. We have ourselves a bit of a situation. I didn't end up going in the bunker. I'm actually down this hill, which is the next hole, all the way down there at the bottom. And I have to come all the way back up this hill to the pit. So I'm gonna have Zach drive up to the green, get a green side view. Hopefully I can put this thing on. If not, put it somewhere close to the green and save par. Right, up and out. Not see. All right, I actually didn't end up too bad. I'm down here. Long of the pin, a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. For me personally, shots where I can't see the pin or I have blind shots or it's an uphill shot towards a pin, I have no idea what to do. I just try to gather myself, stay calm and just try to hit a smooth golf swing. I had like 120 probably up the hill and I hit a pitching wedge and I wanted to make sure that I carried it long of this green because it's a false front. And if you land short, you're rolling down the hill about 40 yards. So I'm pretty happy with this result here. We've got about 40 feet to this pin, downhill left to right putt, just trying to put it close and save par. All right, not terrible, I'll take it. Should be able to tap this one in. Wow. All right, I'll take that par save all day long. One over through five holes, moving on to hole number six, par three downhill. I'm feeling kind of good about this par three. 
super close. So we're gonna try to hopefully make one or stick one really close to the pin. All right, hole number six is a par three, playing about 150 yards. Downhill, it's not gonna play that much. Probably gonna hit pitching wedge because it feel a slight breeze into us. The pin's in the middle, literally just trying to hit it right in the middle of the green. All right, breeze kind of into our face. It's like 150 playing down to about 125. Gonna play a 130 number right at the center of the green and try to make it be really close for her. I caught it a little thin on the bottom of the face. We're good, we're on the green on the right side, about pin high. So it was the right club kind of tailed off at the end, but we have a look for birdie. I've said it before in other videos where we play from the red tees, no matter what, you still have to hit good shots. And right now, Mission Viejo is humbling me a little bit, especially with my wedges and my short irons, because I'm not hitting very good shots. I'm getting lucky with some of the results, like not getting plugged in bunkers or anything like that. But I still have to hit better shots to put myself in good positions to score. And I'm not really doing that right now, but I'm hoping I can turn that around here and get some momentum going forward. All right, this is the putt that we're looking at here. Up the hill, a little left to right. It's probably gonna snap super hard to the right. So I'm gonna anticipate a lot of break, play it way out to the left and let the slope kind of bring it down. Come on in. Oh, man. Put a pretty good roll on that one, end over end, up the hill. I told myself I had to get it there and I knew that it was gonna be pretty slow. So, tap this one in for par. Keeps me at one over through six holes, not bad. It's funny, cause when I play golf, I don't typically make a lot of birdies in general. I'll get lucky and hit a couple wet shots close to tap them in, but I'm not one to make super long putts for birdie or eagle or anything like that. What I focus on when I play is just to try to eliminate the big numbers. So no doubles, no triples. The occasional bird will fall here and there. Maybe I'll have two or three around. There's some times where I can pop off and make maybe five, but in college golf, I don't focus a whole lot on making birdies. It's more just eliminating the doubles and the triples, all the big numbers. Then when you have those two or three birdies that fall and you don't have as many bogeys or doubles, then your score stays pretty low. On to hole number seven, 302 from the Reds here. There's water all along the left side of the green. So I'm not gonna go for it with driver. I don't wanna risk putting myself in the water. I'm gonna take four iron and just hit it left of those bunkers, give myself a wedge in. The pin is in the back today, so I wanna get myself good position to attack. Prime position there, right in the middle of the fairway. Boom. All right, this is where my ball ended up here in the fairway, 121 yards to this pin. Gonna be aggressive and go right at it. Pin's in the back, gonna try to fly it there. I've got a 52 degree in hand, just gonna try to smoke it, get it to the back of the green. Oh, boogers. All right, thin city. I don't know what's going on with my wedges right now. Not hitting them super solid, guys. I don't know. Missed the green right. Gonna be a pretty tough up and down with that pin location. Gotta do what I can to try to save par. All right, not the ideal wedge shot. Gave myself a tricky putt for par here coming back up the hill. Kind of feel a little yippy with my wedges right now, but I just gotta keep my head down, stay grinding. I got this putt for par left, gonna try to save it. Move on to a par five. Hmm. Wow. Bogey here puts me at two over par through seven, which honestly, honestly could be worse. I mean, Mission Impossible still playing pretty hard from the Reds. This next one's not easy either. Par five from the Reds still plays almost 500 yards. Got to carry water on the second shot. Course management needs to tighten up a little bit. I need to play smarter and play to my strengths. Moving on to hole number eight. Let's go. Hole number eight. Par five, playing 415 yards. I'm going for this in two today. Trying to make eagle, playing this, definitely gonna play this aggressive. Driver in hand, just gonna tee it up and let it rip. Try to put myself way out there to get myself a good number into this pin. It's a front right pin, so I don't have to worry about water on my approach shot. Just gotta be aggressive, try to put it close.
I smoked it. I hit it pretty, pretty close to the center of the face. It was cutting a little bit to the right and landed in the rough. So I didn't get that additional bounce in the fairway, but we're out there pretty far, probably like 120 yards from this pin. All right, this is where we ended up. I kind of have a side hill lie. I'm 114 to the pin. I've got a 52 degree. Again, the pin is front right. I got to be aggressive. Water is not in play. I'm going to try to go right at this pin. Just hit it straight. Maybe play a little bit of a draw since the ball is above my feet. Wind's at my back, so choke down on this 52. Be aggressive and go at it. It's like a little bit short right, but I'm still putting. Two putt birdie is in play. I struck that one pretty well. I think I might have choked down a little bit too much, so I took too much off the club, but we're sitting pretty. Let's go. All right, this is where we're sitting for Eagle here, going back up the hill. It's gonna go a little bit right to left, just off of this first part in the fringe. I gotta play a little bit of aggressive because this grass is kind of patchy, and I know the ball's gonna jump, so I'm gonna hit it firm. Hopefully it just rolls out when it gets on the green. It's gonna go a little bit right to left. Gotta make this for Eagle. Mm. One too many hops there, ate it up a little bit, so it's a little short, but that's for birdie. I'm gonna tap it in. That is clutch, takes me back to one over par, going into nine, looking for another birdie to bring it back to even. Here we are, hole number nine, playing 320 yards. The pin is in the back. I'm gonna rip driver over there by that green side bunker, hopefully get myself a good angle so I can hit wedge and get up and down for bird. Driver in hand, I'm gonna try to feel a cut in my swing so I can get it up there by that green side bunker. Perfect drive, middle of the fairway, exactly where I wanted to be. All right, my ball ended up just a little bit short of the green, 40 to 50 yards away from the pin. Zach's gonna stand up by the green and get a green angle. This is a tough pin location. The pin's sitting on that left edge. I can't miss it left. I have to be on the right side of that. Super happy with the result of that shot. Looking at about a six footer here. It's gonna be a little bit downhill, breaking right to left. This is to put me back to even par. Gonna try to sink it. That's a really unfortunate miss there. I mean, granted it wasn't a super easy putt, but to be that close to miss for Brady kind of stings a little bit. One over through nine holes. This is gonna be a two part video. This is the end of part one, guys. Stay tuned for part two coming soon. I'm gonna play the back nine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Again, stick around for part two. We'll see you later.